Notion have recently introduced bi-directional linking and inline page creation, and I think it starts to challenge some of the aspects of Roam research. In this video, I'm going to go over what's been added in the update and how that potentially changes how you link pages together. When looking at traditional ways of creating a page, you could use the slash command, type page, and then create the page. Or how I prefer to do it is type the name of the page and then use the keyboard shortcut, control shift nine, to turn that block into a page. But as you can see, that turns the block into a page block. Now, when you have a page created in Notion, whether that's a page block or a page in a database, you can use the at mention and at mention the page in line. And what that allows you to do is have a small inline version relation of that page so it doesn't fill out the whole block, which means you can type words after it. Now, this at mention works pretty much the same way as the link to page slash command, but instead of it turning the block into the related link, it's just that inline version. So a change that this update has allowed is if you use the bracket keys, it works very similar to the at mention and you can relate a current page, whether that's a page block or a page in a database in line of the text. So instead of using the at, you could use the two square brackets. But the main difference and change is you can actually create a page in line. So you can use the plus key and then type the name of the page and create that page in line. So you could be halfway through typing and now create a page inside a block. Previously, you had to be in a separate block to create the page, but now you can do it in line. So you could go plus, type the name of the page, enter. Now you've created a new page and carry on typing. Then when you go back, you can click on that page and it's a brand new page in line and you've just created it. So for this example, I've just created a fruit page. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to use the at mention and mention those previous pages inside this fruits page. So now I have mentioned apples and grapes in this fruits page. When I go into those pages, you can actually see the backlink to this page. Now, when I go into these related pages, so if I was to go into apples, it's actually going to show me the backlinks. So where I have mentioned this page, which in this case is the fruits page. And then I can jump back to that fruits page and it will highlight the block that the page was mentioned in. And the same thing works for the grapes. So I click on grapes and it's going to show the fruits page because that's where the backlink goes to. Now what I've done is I've got rid of those previous pages and I've actually turned them into pages inside of a database. So if we go back to that fruits page and I relate the apples page, which is now inside of a database, the exact same principles apply. So you can see I can at mention any page that's inside of a database. So now in this fruits page, I have mentioned two database pages. And when I go into those pages, it's going to have a backlink for that fruits page. So if I jump into the fruit table, you can see we've got apples, bananas, carrots, and grapes. If I go into any of those pages, you can see the backlink that goes to that fruit page where the page was mentioned. And no matter how many times you mention that database page in another normal page or another database page, those backlinks will be listed in that page. Now, for me, the main use case of using these backlinks and creating the pages in line is where you can create a page in line that is specific to a table. So I'm actually going to create a sub page in line. So I'm going to use the plus key, go down one. I'm going to create this page, but I'm going to create the page into the database. So I can go into the page. Its backlink goes to the fruit page. But you can see if I go back to the table, I've created a database entry from another page. What this means is I can create a tag to a block in a page and that tag lives in a tags database of some sort. And then because of the backlinks, whenever I go to that tag page that's in the database, I can see where that page block, where that tag block is because of the backlink and it would take me back there. Let's give a quick example of how some of the backlinks can add up. So if we create a brand new page and we go into that page and now I'm going to at mention apples, bananas and cherries in this block. So these are three inline page mentions of one block, write some other stuff and then at mention another page. 
When we go into those pages, you can see these are pages in that fruit table database. And then when I go into those pages, you can see the backlink for the carrots. And if I go into apples, you can see I now have two backlinks because it's linked in the fruit page from earlier and the brand new page that we've just linked it to. And if I click on the backlink, it's going to show me the block in the page that I mentioned that page. And the same thing happens with cherries. So we can go into cherries. You can see we've got the two backlinks. We click on that backlink and it takes me to the block the page is mentioned in. If you're interested to learn more about how I use Notion, make sure you check out this video over here and I'll see you there.